Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the light editor in Maya 2018. This particular video will be divided into two different parts. First part, I will discuss about the very basic overview of the light editor. And in the second part, I will discuss how to edit the custom attributes for the light editors. Now, first of all, let's see how what ex exactly the light editor is and how it works. So for light, light editor, you can either click on this particular icon or you can go to window, rendering editor, light editor. Now both of them are actually the same. So this is the light editor window, which is consisting of two different tabs. One is the light editor, another one is the property editor. Now if you double click one, one that will get minimized and the other one gets maximized. So just double click on that light editor again and it will uh, I mean reappear though the property editor can be hide or minimize over here and you can click this particular button over here open the property editor window and the property editor will come out now what these two do the light editor actually consisting of the list of the lights and few uh, attributes which are actually concise within this particular window and the property editor will do a uh, property editor is the one where you can actually change the values of those um, properties or attributes now this particular part is actually an overview in the next video I will discuss about how to include a new property uh, in this particular uh, list okay so for creating light either you can create from your create menu or you can click on these icons which is exactly the same results the catch is that you don't have to go for uh, the Maya default lights and the Arnold lights both of them will be accessible over here and if you install any other plugins that will also appear over here so let's create one light First, I'll create a run light that is a point light. Just uh, hit 7 to see the result in the viewport so that if I change anything, that will also be visible. Another one is a spotlight. Great. Fantastic. Another one may be a an area light great so these are the three lights that I have already created now what light editor actually helps us the light editor actually helps us something like this that whenever I want to create I don't have to go to the scene and I have to I don't have to you know search for my light when you are using a very large amount of uh, a large uh, size of file where the lights are actually uh, maybe uh, sometimes behind one object or or something like that it's very difficult to you know uh, to select them so for that also you need to do one more thing which is a very very smart move and i will strongly advise you to do that that is renaming your light so point light let's suppose I rename it by double clicking it let's say uh, let's say environment so immediately you will see that the environment light is actually responsible uh, for the for the overall uh, overall lighting in your scene so uh, you will already uh, recognize which light you are actually looking for the spotlight I will recommend to by uh, naming something like you know the main let's say main light area light I will let's say fill fill light okay just a random name you j you it, it it definitely be depending on on your you know uh, project and all so once you have already renamed your lights it's really really easy to recognize 
and also select those lights which is really really important the moment you click on that particular light it has been selected from your scene and your attributes are available for editing now here as usual I can change my color and increase my intensity over here and also the sample rates now the problem is this uh, all all of the all of the attributes that are over here are not been active though you can see the exposure is not being active though it is it has been changed because the exposure is not related with this particular uh, light that is actually connected with the Arnold lights if I create a new area light of Arnold area light and I use that one over here now if you see Arnold shape 1 is the Arnold light and here if you increase the intense uh, sorry the exposure you can see the effect so not all the common attributes are actually been connected with that particular light that you have to know so you have to have a basic idea about your light properties okay so what else we can do from here we can create a new group and keep all the lights which is uh, connected to a particular group let's suppose this light setup is for a character light setup so what I'm gonna do is I will create a group let's say character and what I will do is I will take these main three lights and drag them within the character so the moment I am within the character lights I can you know when I have a lots of lights in my scene I can specifically you know go to the uh, character group and select the lights which is responsible or connected to the character let's suppose I am creating I am putting this main light and the fill light with a new group called football sorry what I have done is I have selected this character and created a new group which is not right so I have to deselect all of them and we have to create otherwise it will be group under group so I'll say football and that means this particular group will be responsible to lit up this particular soccer ball or the football so what I will do is fill light and the main light will be drag and drop to the football so this particular light of the environment is responsible for lighting the character and this fill light and the main light will be responsible for the football this way we can organize our lighting very very professionally and also it helps to save a lots of time in our productions whenever you are doing a, even a personal project we generally forgot about the time but in production um, that is not the case it's really really important that you save your time very very carefully so whenever you organize yourself this in this way uh, it will help you a lot to uh, you know saving a lot of time from your production uh, schedule so I will strongly recommend that you use this particular uh, uh, light editor to uh, you know uh, organize your lighting very professionally also there are two other buttons where we can disable or enable the light like uh, if I want to just uh, okay fine uh, now let's see how to remove them from this particular uh, new group that I've been created just click and drag a little wider and they are out uh, wider wider out so just drag them uh, a little bit farther from from the uh, the group and there will be outside of the group exactly like what we what we have done in the uh, in the outliner section in in Maya so just delete this one okay apart from these there are two other buttons where I can disable the light like disable the fill light and you can see immediately the objects the light particular light is gone and that is not 
visible even so you need to uh, uh, you need to see this list and you will be able to tell that which light is actually been turned off if you see anything wrong in your scene you can check this out uh, you don't have to go through the uh, the huge list of the outliner or the or the uh, uh, attribute editors whether the light has been uh, turned on or off so that is one thing another one is the isolate light this is a very very good option where uh, we we want to see a specific light uh, effect on your scene this is really really powerful one and you can see immediately that how much light as uh, how much uh, effect of this particular fill light is is there inside our scene so this is really really great for a for a lighting artist where you can uh, you, you can man you where you want to manipulate your your lights and all so now select the lights and you can change the intensity also from here that I've been already been tell but what if I want to uh, connect a particular uh, uh, light and I want to change its position or or you know uh, I want to set its particular position from a particular object or maybe change its uh, 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 you know the angle uh, like like this spotlight so what I'm gonna do is select the spotlight which is the main light over here and click on this open look through window which will create you should open up a new window where you can look through this particular light now this is not a very new option in Maya because we can do this through panel and uh, look through selected the same thing will happen over here but what plus point will be is it will actually create another window a separate window which will help you to track it down so this is how from my uh, this uh, spotlight is actually uh, looking like through the spotlight sorry so now the problem is you can see that my light has been tilted which is a very wrong direction I mean kind of a weird way because I think there's a uh, rotation value which is out there and I think I need to change it so what I can do is oh no my entire scene is tilted the z-axis is tilted great so uh, yeah so by by I mean like this we can uh, you can check whether your uh, the, the main focus I uh, remember I have uh, I have actually assigned this particular main light into the football uh, group that means which has which is actually been uh, assigned for that particular object whereas this soccer ball now the problem is that my object my light was not exactly focusing on the soccer ball so right now through this window I can say yes my focus is absolutely on the soccer ball right now so this is a very nice way to you know uh, uh, see whether your light is actually uh, using the maximum area of its uh, focus on that particular uh, object that you want to assign it so this is really really handy okay oops sorry so the next button is with a snap to the object which is really another really tricky feature that uh, you might want to have in your scene let's suppose select this particular light and I want to uh, assign or uh, I mean snap with this particular uh, object now you might ask that what uh, what is the use of it uh, well uh, to be very famous frankly speaking not directly but yes indirectly because sometimes you know you have a lot of lights and objects that sometimes uh, you mistakenly move some of the lights or maybe which has lost its focus and you cannot find it which will be assigned to a specific object which should be assigned to a specific object which is not actually showing up 
so what can you do is you can select both of these and click on this particular button what will happen the the light will be directly uh, snapped with that particular object and then what you can do is you select that particular light and go to the look through window and you can make the focus on that particular area now this is the actual i i uh, felt that this is the actual uh, this can be a very good use with uh, when you can work uh, work this combine con with the combination of of this uh, look through window and snap so this is a very basic overview of this light these are the things that you can do apart from this which i will show you that you can see a lot of attributes are out there where which you want to you know uh, change but you you don't know how to do because uh, the attributes are not there like uh, the perhaps the cone angle of this particular spotlight which you really want to you know increase the size of the light i mean the uh, increase the angle of the cone angle and but it's not here so the next video will be concentrating on how to add or customize this particular list and uh, uh, will help you uh, to to create your own light editor window inside your Maya for your uh, project so hope you like this video thank you very much and please subscribe to YouTube channel and uh, also like us on Facebook we are very soon uh, starting a uh, live streaming also please look after those we will be starting live streaming very soon on a particular topic for Maya like a, a basic animation uh, we'll start with the ball bounce and I hope you will uh, you will be there thank you very much